State your full name for me. My full name is Ronald Richard Rayfield III. Here's my payment in full, sir. Alrighty. As agreed. Your cousin, Sir Geoff. Seems a little shy. It looks only to be seven dollars. Supposed to be ten dollars. What treasure? The treasure. Blackbeard's treasure. Blackbeard. Yeah, the last that I talked to Lafayette, he said he knew where Blackbeard's treasure was at. Coincidentally, all of a sudden he disappears. You were the last one to talk to him, so I bet you know where the treasure's at. No, I don't know where the treasure's at. What treasure are you even talking about? Ron? Do you know how many skincare creams I can buy with what's in this box? Creams from Paris and Venice and London? I don't like the kind you can eat. Like buttercream, whipped cream. We're not talking about buttercream here, Ron. We're talking about skin complexion ointments. What you need that for? You got that baking grease right there. You put it on every morning, right here and right there. Oh, you're a man. You don't know nothing about these things. I'm, I'm trying to move up in nice, the world. It's got a nice smoky smell to it. Ron, I'm a lady now. Look, you're my lady. Look at what is in this and I box. Like you to smell good. Yes, you're. And, I am and still bacon your lady. Smells good. Yes, I'm still your lady. But do you know what I lay in bed at night thinking about? No. Rouge. Rouge. What's that? Pomades. Is that fruit? Perfumes. I don't know what that is. You know what I don't know is what these keys go to. Ooh, I've been wondering about those. Well, this box don't have a lock on it, so it don't go to this box. I don't think this is the actual treasure we're looking for. No, of course it is. I just got a hunch. This is way more than $20. Yeah, it's probably $50, $60. But Blackbeard, the notorious pirate, the treasure of all treasures, that little thing. Well. And the keys inside of it. The only person. And unlocked bots. I would know to ask this would be Geoff. Mr. Geoff. And I don't really want to go back there. Or your dad. Your dad seems to know this area real well and he has some age mm -hmm. on us. You know, that's not a bad idea. We haven't seen father since the winter time. And you know what? It's a good Christian thing to do. Charity. Oh yes, yes. What's your dad's favorite color? Blue, just like mine. There. Hell yeah, he'll like that. We'll take that to your dad. Maybe, we'll ask him. Maybe he can get off the out of that little shanty shack he's got on the side of the river and get him a townhouse with that. That'd probably buy a house. Ron, with how much money is in this box, I can afford to buy your dad's skincare creams now. <laughs> he don't need no skincare creams. He's oh, every, everybody likes skincare oh. creams, except you. Let's put that in a safe spot. We'll take that and take that jewel, mm -hmm. and we'll go see, okay. see my father yep. about that. Yeah, I'll ask him about this. All right. I'll put this in my sack, and we'll get... So who's getting the bag with the creepy skull in it? That's gonna be you, dear. Today's All Hallows Eve. You think I'm gonna carry a, a skull in the bag on my side? I went down no, that well. You. That's not fair. I don't wanna hear it. Put that in a safe spot. I will take this bag if you promise me that when we get our property, I can sit in my nice bedroom and apply my skincare creams from Venice with rose petals in them. Venice? I want one that's rose scented and one that's orange peel scented. Don't you think I deserve it? All the work I do, can I have an orange cream? You got it. You got a deal. Thank you. And whoa, 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 whoa. One more thing. What's this room right here going around town about you being a witch? They said you ran the constable off the other day. Well, how do you think I got you? Through witchcraft. You mean you're good cooking? Yeah, my good cooking. I'm not a witch. <laughs> that constable is just. I know there ain't I, no witch, but I think a horse I'm still not carrying that on today. A horse kicked that man in the head when he was a child. That's all I can say. Mm, let's get it. And if I'm a witch, no one taught me. No one told me that. As far as I'm aware, I'm not a witch. Hey, speaking of those venison creams, where'd you say they're from? They're from Venice, 
Ron. They don't have venison in them. Oh, I thought you said there was venison cream. You're creams. always thinking about food. Because, you know, if it's made of deer, you know, I might be into that. No, they're from Venice, dear. Oh. Uh, Italy. <laughs> See here, what are you? What in where? I thought I put it right there. Where? Stinky! Stinky here? Stinky, where are you? Stinky? Stinky! Stinky! Are you here, boy? Come here, Stinky! 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 Oh, Stinky, please! Where are you? What bastards would do this? Stinky! Damn it! Who would do this? Who would do this? Oh! Stinky, my boy. Oh, buddy, I'm so thankful you're okay. Hey, buddy, uh, where was the treasure you were guarding? What? What happened to it? Who? Who did? A woman? A woman with a spoon? I know exactly who it is, and we're gonna have to do something about it. She beat me too, bud. She beat me too. So. I'll tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna make this right. I'm gonna get our money back. We worked hard for it. And and I have no choice to make something happen. I love you, Stinky. We've been through so much together, and this isn't gonna be the end for us. <laughs> Thanks. What are you idiots doing? What do I pay you for? They got it. They got it. They got all the money. All the money we worked hard for, they got it. You wanna know what Stinky told me? What? what? That that lady that tied me up to the tree, beat me with the wooden spoon, they got the money. She's the one who got our money. Well, I've been hearing around town, they say that she's a witch. <sighs> you superstitious fools. She isn't no witch. She's a thief. She stole our money. We need it back. We worked hard for it. Let's get it back. What are we going to do? I don't know what you want to do. I'm not going after a witch. She isn't a witch. There's only one thing that you need to be scared about for her. It's a wooden spoon. There's, I don't know why you country folk are so superstitious. Don't you know it's October? The, the Headless Horseman. Oh my. There is no Headless Horseman. There is no witches. They just got our money. Now go get it. Go, please. Don't come back without it. I'm not going after the witch, I tell you. You go after the witch. I'm not going after the witch. Fine. Fine. I will go after the witch to prove to Arthur I am not superstitious. I'll go after the man. Yes. You take the man, I will go after the witch. All right. Ron, I gotta pee. Again? Well, you know I'm one of those women, I pee a lot. I'll go pick you out of the bush. Yes, I'll go too. Coming with me, witch. Come on. He's coming around. Took long enough. Come on, come on get up. Get up. Get up. Let me go. Get up. I'll take him. You tie him. Let me out of this. Leave him alone. Let me out of this. Come on, on your feet. Ugh. On your feet. Ugh. I'm gonna get what you, you if want? I get out of this. We don't have any money. We know you have money. We have you. We know Ooh. you have money, witch. I don't have any money. We do. We Look told. You touch her, I'll kill you. you. Okay, he told us you have mm. the money. Who did? Arthur. Arthur. Arthur's boy. Yeah. So where's the money? There ain't no money. Let's go. No, not until you tell us where the money is. There is no money. I don't believe you. Where is it? Where's the treasure? There is, is no it? treasure. I don't, I don't believe you. Where is it? I told you. Come on. Let Ron go. Just no, take you're gonna, me. You're going to tell. He has nothing to do with it. What? Oh, my. What? 
about to let you die by a couple of bloody redcoats. They weren't redcoats, they were worse. River rats. River rats? River rats. All this action's made me hungry. I'm ready for supper. You all right? I want to take a nap. Let's go fix Dad some supper. Oh. I'm not gonna cook no one no supper now. He just saved our lives. Wait, we better get this. Well, son, what are we gonna eat? I sent Justine off over there to get some squirrels for us. You like squirrel, right? Oh yeah, I heard them barking when we were coming through the woods. Hey, I gotta ask. Yeah. How'd you know to come rescue us? Well, when I was coming through the woods right before I crossed the creek, I heard a ruckus, so I, I just started listening and heard these guys planning about getting a couple people on a, and possibly hanging them. Hmm. So I really didn't know who they were talking about, but you know, anytime I see a couple red coats planning something, or if that was Justine shooting our squirrels. I hope so, I'm hungry. Me too. But you know, in red coats, when I hear red coats planning something like that, it just brings back too many memories from the war. You know, it's funny you came and rescued us because we were actually coming to look for you. Really? We got some stuff to show you. What do you got? So we've been looking for Blackbeard's treasure, you know. That's buried 100 years ago, they say. And we think we might have found it. First, we found this creepy old skull. Yeah, I see. And it said an inscription on the back that led us to a, a big well that had a hidden room in the bottom. Justine went to the bottom of it. Nice. And she pulled out a little chest Poor guy. that was about this big, maybe a hundred dollars gold and silver in it and some rubies. We think we found Blackbeard's treasure. No, no, you, that's too small. That, what you're looking for is big. How big? Real big. What's how big? You couldn't fit it on these horses' backs. I used to listen to the men oh, sit wow. around the campfires during the war. And they would, oh, I hope Justine gets one of them geese. That would be They'd nice. talk about the treasure they were going to look for up in Mississippi if they lived through the, through the war. This wasn't far from the Mississippi. Well, that's, what you found is not Blackbeard's treasure. Well, what do you think it might be then? Probably them river rats stash. Mm. You know, they were a couple thieves. They were, they were asking where's the money. 